Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out the latest Photoshop 2023 Neural Filters Beta. And we're going to check it out the Harmonizer and we're going to check it out the Adept Blur and some more. As a reference, I'm going to go with this model and I already did the transparent version without the background. Now, I won't do a complete tutorial how to remove the background, but here Adobe just dropped this object selection tool. And with that, you can select the subject and you can mask it, but you can go also and select and mask and make an even better selection. So anyways, the first thing I'm going to make is drop a background. I'm going to scale it up a little, I'm going to drag it to the background there. So I added the background, as you can see, the models, uh, lights and colors doesn't match the background colors and contrast and lights and everything. You can see there's a huge difference. All right, so from here, I'm going to select the model, which is on the top, because we need to change the colors of that. We're going to go to filter, neural filter. And Adobe basically added a new filter, which is called the harmonization filter. Now this won't be applicable if you didn't remove the background from the subject and the, back, the other background is not active as well. So in my case, both layers are checked and now what we're gonna do is gonna activate this and here we can select a layer. So I'm gonna go with the background layer. And as you can see, it matched the colors and the contrast and the lights from the background image. So now these both images kind of blend together. You also can push the strength up to maximum. I think it's gonna make it like really blue. Yeah, it's like more bluer, but I think this way it looks even better. Um, you also can change the color nuances. I'm gonna push more cyan and more blue. You can change the saturation. I won't do that. And we also got the brightness. I'm gonna push it plus 12. And it's gonna look something like this. I also got to add some makeup. By the way, this is not beta. This is nothing new. Here, basically, you can upload another model's photo with a different makeup, and it's going to add those makeups on her face. So I'm going to select an image. You can click on this little folder. And we got a couple of images here. Make sure that these images are in PNG, because in JPEG or in other formats, it won't uh, recognize. So I'm going to go with this one. Wow, check that out. So basically, it added the makeup and also the lipsticks. It looks pretty cool, but it won't be perfect for post-processing because it just reduced the resolution of the eye that changed and also the lips. I also can select only the eye area. Check this out. So it's gonna replace only the makeups from the eye. Unfortunately, it sends an error. It writes here like we're temporarily disabled this filter because of an error. Too bad. From here, I'm gonna click OK. Now, in order to try out another filter, I'm going to need to merge these two layers with the background. I'm going to press Control plus Shift plus Alt plus E. And it's going to merge these two layers together, as you can see here. Now I'm going to go back to the filters, neural filters. And here I'm going to activate the depth blur. This is the other new beta version with the blur. But you only can work with this if both of, both of the layers were, you know, merged together. So check this out. We merge the layers. We got like one single layer going on. And in this situation, Photoshop, it added blur only to the background. So it separated the model from the background and it added the blur only to the background, which is pretty nice. Even if we have a one single layer where everything is merged together. Now we can also increase the blur strength. And look at that. There's also grain. Oh, there you go. I really like this, by the way. I think they did a great job creating this um, old school kind of blur uh, that basically comes out from really old camera lenses. And those camera lenses got like a specific bokeh, which is like kind of grainy, and they added this grainy option here. Now there's like also this color transfer beta, which I'm not a fan of. And you can change color nuances with these theme styles. So that's that, and I'm gonna click OK. So let's check it out how it looked before. I'm gonna deactivate this edited version. And look at that. There's a huge contrast in between, you know, from the default and the modified version. And I only did a couple of clicks, and that's it. This was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.